welcome back everybody to episode 6 of The Journey. Well, we've approached the final two games of the season and it has been one hell of a roller coaster. Now, before we get cracking and showing you the final running, uh, remember to hit that subscribe button. Um, we're getting close to, well, we're one subscriber away from hitting 50, so as soon as we hit that 50 mark, we're halfway to reaching our end of end of series goal. Uh, so come on, hit that subscribe button. Right, so without further ado, let's get cracking and show you just what we've been up to so far. Okay, so since you was last with us, we played Farsley in Gateshead. And it's been a bit of a up and down roller coaster. We've you know we we lost against Kidderminster, uh, but then we absolutely destroyed Spennymoor. And then we drew against Boston. We beat Darlington, who are promotion favourites. Uh, but then we got absolutely destroyed off Chorley and then again off Geisley. But then we stormed back in and absolutely dismantled Lemington. Uh the table as it stands right now, we are currently sat in thirteenth. Uh, ten points away from the playoffs, so that's out of the out of the window. Um, why doesn't he have a playoff there? The teams below him, the teams below Gloucester have got the playoff information. There's nothing there for Gloucester. That's bizarre. And my old team from the first series, Bradford Park Avenue, have been relegated out of the Vanarama National League North. Uh, let's have a look at transfers. Uh, just these two players coming in. I'll show you those. In fact, I'll show them you now. Uh, Mohamed Diabe, a 20-year-old centre-back. Uh, he is really, really, really promising. I mean, just look at the stats. He's got like... That is pretty good. He'll go straight into the squad more than likely. And Eden Sears, another centre-back, 19-year-old. Again, highly promising. Uh, fits our tactic uh, if we have a look at transfer history so we have you remember them We've, I think you remember that one as well and that one yeah I think that's I think that's it there's been no one coming in since the last one just them two that we've got coming in at the end of the season so, and on the outgoings I have decided I'm uh, I've getting rid of half of the squad if you can see here, we're getting rid of Chaloner, Kane, Daly, Posher, Curran, Whittam and Merrill. All of them will be leaving the club at the end of the season. Um, so it's, and I think I'm going to be doing another couple more. Uh, Scott Wilson, he's wanted. So there's a high likelihood that he's going to be going at the end of the season as well. Uh, I'm contemplating getting rid of Lussy as well. Uh, there's a couple more that's going to be out the door, I think. So it's going to be a clean start at the start of the new season. So, with the formalities out of the way, uh, let's get cracking and play Blythe Spartans. Right, so, as you can see, the formation... I, th I think I showed you in the last episode, I'm not 100% sure. But this is the one that I'm going with, and it's it is hit and miss. Um, but the more they get used to it and the more the team gels together, the stronger it'll become. Anyway, so the lineup that we're going with today is Johnson in goal with a back four of Wilson, Deitch, Flowers and Alfieri. And Merrill just in front of the back four. We've got Finney and Curran in midfield and a front three of Thomas, Stanley and Hewlett. Now, Hewlett is on loan. I think his contract's up at the end of the season. Um, so it's a high likelihood that we are going to be probably putting an offer in for him to try and get him in permanently because he's good. He's fantastic in the uh, poaching position. Cameron Stanley's banged in 14 goals so far this season, so I'm happy about that. Uh, he needs to improve in the false nine position, but I'll probably end up switching him to the uh, pressing forward. I mean, what was he in the pressing forward? He's slightly better in the pressing forward, but I'm going to keep Thomas there for now. Uh, Tom Hewlett only needs two more goals, and I've got th all three strikers have got ten plus goals. Um, so yeah, it's a it's pretty good, high tempo, pushing on the counter attack. It's it did well against Lemington, so I'm 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 going to stick with it for this for this one. 
I may tweak it here and there. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, enough waffling. Let's get cracking and see if we can get a win on the board again. Okay, we're kicking off, so it's Deitch on the ball. See, I'm, I'm going to try I mean, Deitch is uh, out of contract as well, but those two new defenders that I've got coming in at the end of the season, I would think they will be my two starting centre-backs. Um, I'll have to give them a proper look when they get here. Uh, but they do look all right. I could try and get Deitch in on again, and if he comes... Or I can even try and get him in on a free contract because his contract is up at the end of the season as well. So win-win if we can get him. I've got a few players lined up as well. Wilson to take a throw in. Merrill back to Wilson. Now it's Thomas. Finney now. Finney tries his luck, but he's blocked by one of his own players. Alfieri now. Come on, Alfieri. Yeah, it's Merrill over the top. Wilson gets to it just about. And that attempt falls short. But we could win another throwing though. It's Merrill back to Wilson. Who it over? Hewlett heads up, hits the post, and oh, and he's offside. Hewlett is offside. Unlucky. He's good as well. I mean, a couple of these lone players, if they want to come to us permanently, we may just have to, have to like entice them to join us. Um, because we want to start next season strong. Uh, hopefully not a repeat performance. Oh, good effort there by Alfieri. Uh, hopefully we don't get another repeat performance of the current season that we're on now. Uh, I would like to finish top seven next season. Well, naturally I'd like to win the league, but we can't have everything. So I'll settle for top seven, get a playoff, and hopefully we can do well. Ooh. Uh, and if we do do well, then that's fantastic. But we'll have to wait and see how it, how it all pans out because I'm thinking too far ahead in the future yet. We're not even finished this season. Um, oh no, they're on the break now. There's a chance to Blythe to go ahead. Oh, Johnson, safe hands. He's not as good as I thought he was, Johnson. Uh, he has conceded some absolutely in incredibly soft goals. So he's one area that is probably going to get improved upon at the end of the season. Um, so if it is, then... Hopefully, we'll get a, a really good keeper. I'll have to utilise the uh, loan system again. So, try and get a few loan ease in. And Mecco's super strong. So, we can push for promotion. Or at least, like I said, top seven. So, Johnson to kick it out. Oh, and there goes that one. Uh, Charlie atop at table. Current to Flowers. Now it's Merrill. Now it's Deitch. Deitch to Finney. Finney's been a... Solid center, central midfielder. Oh, Curran is through. Oh, Finney tries his luck. Hewlett back to Curran. It's Hewlett again. It's Curran. Oh, no. He's, oh, he gets it back, though. What is he doing? Get it. Oh, no one there to get hold of it, though. Unlucky. See, good effort. See, we always bombard the opposition, opposition's area. So, I think we're onto a winner here for the formation. Uh, now, watch me get completely up destroyed in, in this game and next game now I've said that so Stanley plays Curran in Curran shoots oh good save by the keeper and can they clear it Mitchell is that the, it can't be the same Mitchell Let's wait for thingy to come up because we had a keeper it was Remy Mitchell no it's Alex Mitchell no not the same one that's good because I know how good he, a keeper he was Uh. And I think it's substitution time. Because we do need to try and get his noses in front. Uh, Luke Daly can come in and Matty Waters, he can stay on the bench. Will Harris can come in and I will take... I'll take Thomas off, I think. Yeah, that'll do. Confirm subs. Well, let's do this. Uh, we need to, I need to try and find a natural false nine player because... I've I've not seen one since I've had this formation. I've been looking for someone who will fit into the false nine position perfectly. And can I find one for the life of me? Nope. So hopefully there is one or two out there who is interested in joining me. Uh, I'm not holding my breath though because, like I said, I've been searching and I've come to no avail. And oh, good stop by Johnson. Good stop indeed. I need to shout at my squad now. Demand more from them. Let's do this. 
Oh, Stanley now on the ball. Oh, and there goes that highlight. Wilson to take a throw in. Finds Harris. Harris back to Wilson. Wilson to Daly, who hoofs it over the top to Harris. Harris has got a few options here. And he gets brought down. No free kick, but Dykes heads it to Curran. Still Curran to Hewlett. To Stanley, takes tries his luck, and it's just wide of the post. Good effort there by Stanners, but not quite close enough. But he's... I was so glad I brought him in when I did because I know he can perform at this level and he's contributed 14 goals to our season so far so I'm happy with the return. I'm happy. Current now to Alfieri. Alfieri tries his look. Oh, beautiful goal. Al Al Alfieri. Couldn't even get his name out then. Scores his debut goal. Not debut goal. His first goal for the club. But with a fine strike. I mean, Harris to Current. Curran just fans Alfieri, he just takes it, hits it from distance, bottom corner. You couldn't have got any close to the bottom corner if you tried. Well done and congratulations on opening your account on the second to last game of the season. But it's good. It was a nicely taken goal. He's been threatening to score as well for a while as Alfieri. He's been doing some long shots. He's hit the post. It's just comes incredibly close keepers pulled off some wicked saves oh and there we go and he scores his first goal of the season as well right come on demand more we don't want to see that goal come on that was a Walters with a free kick spins it across Stanley oh it hits the post oh unlucky unlucky Stanners that's his new nickname if you've not already figured it out Stanners it's a wicked nickname. And we've got five minutes of time on it on. And we're not going to do anything with it. Going with a free kick. Oh, no. And Harris couldn't quite get to it. And there's 10 seconds left on the clock. And Blythe are trying to do a counter. We don't... Oh, yeah, that's it. Hewlett fans Harris. And the referee blows his full-time whistle. And it finishes all square. Blythe won. Curzon Ashton won. Right. So now... We get one more attempt to get another win on the board against Kettering. Well, the next game should have been Kettering. But I forgot to hit record. Um, but that's fine. I can We can have a look at the highlights of it all. Uh, that's fine. Uh, it was against Kettering, obviously. And we won 4-1, so... I'll show you the goals from it all now, so we'll just let it load up. And I'll show you what you missed. Yeah, I can't believe I forgot to hit record. I commentated throughout the whole entire thing. And I didn't hit record. Absolutely gutted. I mean, look, this is a nice goal. Stanley here. Slots it past the keeper. That was a really nice, nice goal. I was impressed with that. Now Stanley to Lussie to Harris. This was a nice goal as well. Lussie. Boom. Bottom corner. Fantastic. And Waters, Stanley. I mean, this was a nice goal as well. The way it was all taken. Boom. There we go. And the fourth one was a penalty. Waters smashed it in. Uh, so, yeah, I, I can't believe I forgot to hit record. It was such a good game as well. Really good game. And I could have, like, you know, after I'd realised that I'd not recorded it. Uh, I could have reloaded the game and done it that way, but that's it's not the right way of doing it. You know, it's, it didn't record. I goofed up. Uh, I do apologise, but these things happen. Um, so, yeah, we won the game. So... Let's have a look at the final table. Oh, yeah, this one will do. And we finished in 12th on 55 points. Not a bad return, but next season we're going to aim for higher. I want to get at least top seven for next season, at least. Um, so the rebuilding work starts now. So the next episode will be the end of season review and trans... Excuse me. Sorry about the bit of a jump cut then. I had a burp kind of creep up on me uh, anyway yeah so the next episode will be 
the end of season review and transfer special. Uh, hopefully we can significantly strengthen our team so we can actually mount a challenge. Um, so, yeah. Well, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this first season. And hopefully, you know, you'll come back for the next season. Uh, remember, we're one subscriber away now from hitting 50, which is our halfway mark for reaching our target for this series. Uh, so come on, hit that subscribe button. Help us get to 100. You can do it. I've got faith in you all. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. See you later.